Uh, hey y'all, I hope y'all are staying cool out here. Wendelee Well Service is doing a follow-up for you on this job we just finished up, been in operation now for, I don't know, about three or four weeks. We wanted to introduce you to a new project, that's these uh, variable speed drives offered up by Phase Technology. So thank you for a big irrigation well. So thank you for tuning in. Be sure to smash the thumbs up button for us as always. We appreciate you watching. Feel free to leave us your comment. So let's get right down into it. So what we got here is, I don't know, this is a unique situation, but you see a new service coming in here with a new panel coming over here to this drive. And that's the only thing feeding this service. Well. This farm has three wells on it already, and the service on the other side was maxed out. It's a single phase 200 amp service. The service was maxed out. And there's only single phase power here available. It's gonna cost them about $20,000 to get three phase run in here. So what they ended up doing was they called the power company out. You can see the transformer right there. The power company came out and said, that transformer installed has capacity to handle another 200 amp service but single phase well 600 feet deep doing over 100 gallons a minute it was going to take up they were wanting to pump 100 gallons a minute at around 80 psi somewhere around there so it's going to take a 20 horsepower pump to do the job down where the pump was set but single phase power so that's where this product comes in. So this is a phase technologies drive, 230 volt single phase in, 460 volt three phase out. And what, what's nice about that is the well is, I don't know, I know you can't see it, but it's about 250 feet through the trees down there. So it's 460 all the way down to the well that allows you to save money on your wire size. And then we, ran power over there to it and then we made a shielded cable for our transducer that comes with a drive stuck that in conduit and ran that all the way down in the ditch with our power wire going to the pump as well so let me just show you this thing how it's operating right now you can see it's pretty sweet um they've got some smaller zones running right now you can kind of see how it's running Get a kind of Cadillac on 30 hertz and then just ramp the pump up and down. Um, never really, never really shuts off. Just shut my mouth and let y'all look at this for a little bit. All right, that's enough. So that's what's really nice about it was we didn't have a choice here. Customer, and I don't blame them, the customer had the capacity to run another pump, but didn't want to spend the money to get three phase in. And I did look, Phase Technologies does make a drive that can handle up to a 30 horsepower pump. So um, this pump here got a 125 amp breaker. I think on the, not on the drive side, but on the power side, it pulls about 96 amps on each leg. So, they make a 30 horse that can handle single phase in 460 out. I think that's rated up to uh, off the top of my head. I think it's around 140 amps on each leg, which is about the max you can get on a single phase 200 amp service. Pushing the envelope, um, but glad well, we didn't need any bigger pump here. But I just, you know, I could. I could go through and show you show you some of these settings here, but I'm not going to. I'll walk you down to the well and show you that setup real fast. But just thought y'all would like that. That's a neat product out there. Um, had great startup support that came out here and helped us with it. Eh, pretty much not anything to it. Hook it up and go. But it's got some nice features in it, protection features that are in there. A little bit more beefier of a drive but it's got to be it's got a vfd as well as a phase converter in here too so y'all be sure to go check these out phase technologies right there 
I'll go back down to the well and uh, show you the setup that we got down there. Thanks for watching. Uh, stay tuned. Hey. All right, so back down here at the well, about 200 feet away or so, just wanted to show you, you know, they're still waiting to pour a pad here around this. But the main thing that we wanted, you can kind of see the access in here is kind of tight. We wanted to be able to have the well separate so you can at least get a truck to it and pull the, pull the pump out and not have it in a big building, not have it, you know, where you can't get to anything. So we've got that, you know, wells over there, all the controls are over here. So let me show you what's going on here. So here's what we've got right here. Um, this is coming over from the well. Don't know how that got that dirt all on it there. It kind of makes me mad, but anyways, um, this is our, I just wonder sometimes, but anyways, oh man. Got a filter here. This is nice. Got a four inch main coming in. Ah, this, you know, there's still a pad waiting to be poured here, but main difference I liked in this drive, I didn't bring that while up while I was up there, but the main difference I like in the drive is, you know, some of the smaller drives that we've used when the demand is low, instead of it just sitting there and putting the pump on idle, you know, this actually leaves it running for a little bit instead of shutting the pump off, shutting the pump on, shutting the pump off, shutting the pump on. It actually leaves it running at minimum speed, which is what I like. Pump's made to sit there and run. And as long as it's not cutting off and going to idle and then 10 seconds later. So that's one of the features I really like about that drive. Um, other than that, it's just a well and a pump and some wire. Yep, with ability to get down here and service it in the future. So feel free to leave your comments. It's a big boy though. Um, pumping about 100 to 110 gallons a minute at 80 PSI. It's getting the job done for a rock well around here. So um, leave your comments. Check us out at WendellyWellServices.com. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more videos in the future.